How many other David Carricks are still serving today? Scotland Yard had already said it was reviewing past and present internal cases of alleged sexual or domestic abuse. But now, from its commissioner, a sense of how many of those incidents he expects to lead to criminal charges. Uh, most, most weeks there's two or three officers going to court for um, criminal cases, um, which tends to be a, a mix of sort of dishonesty, violence and sort of violence against women and girls type mm. offences, domestic abuse, sexual offences, etc. So there's probably two or three a, two or three a week that are sort of appearing at court. That response suggests up to a dozen officers per month could find themselves in court. He also revealed a special hotline where people can report alleged police corruption is receiving up to 40 calls a week. One former Met detective superintendent says Sir Mark is being more proactive than previous management. I would say there's been some poor leadership here in policing in terms of actually progressing these and turning these around fast. And, uh, you know, Sir Mark is clearly determined to root out those officers. Two, three a week is just absolutely horrific, really, for the public and for public trust. This is the latest officer to shame the Met. PC Hussein Chihab, who's 22, has pleaded guilty to child sex offences and will be sentenced next month. David Carrick awaits his fate in two weeks' time. Sir Mark once again said sorry to his victims. We haven't applied the same sense of ruthlessness to guarding our own integrity that we routinely apply to confronting criminals, and I'm deeply sorry for that. That review of the Met's internal cases is due to be completed by the end of March, as its commissioner warns more painful details will emerge. Well, Julian uh, joins us now live from Westminster. A good evening to you. Um, some of those important issues concerning law and order were debated today at Prime Minister's Questions, but there was a bit of a shift of focus to the Conservative Party chairman, Nadeem Zahawi, who has been in the headlines for the last few days. Hi, Dan. Yeah, this is all about his tax affairs, of course. He paid his penalty to HMRC when he was Chancellor. There's an ethics inquiry going on currently. Well, the Labour leader said to the Prime Minister, you know, why didn't you just sack him? And Mr Sunak said, actually, the best way of dealing with these things uh, is with an investigation. The issues in question occurred before I was Prime Minister. With regard, with regard to the appointment... With regard to the appointment of the Minister Without Portfolio, the usual appointments process was followed. No issues, no issues were raised with me when he was appointed to his current role. And since I commented on this matter last week, more information has come forward. And that is why I have asked the independent adviser to look into the matter. So that's uh, Rishi Sunak today, Julian, and there's been more tax chat in the last few hours, hasn't there? Yeah, interestingly, not related to Mr Zahawi, but Mr Sunak Labour uh, posing the question, has the Prime Minister uh, ever had to pay a tax penalty? Now, Number 10 has not given a full answer to this. They've said that such affairs are confidential, but they have stressed that the Prime Minister uh, will publish his tax return in due course. That is obviously not the full tax history that Labour is looking for.